Now, researching the sun could save lives on Earth. Many scientists believe bursts of solar activity contribute to natural disasters on our planet. But until now, the star has been too difficult to reach or explore in any detail. Artizy Piskanov met some Russian researchers who think they have the solution. Volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunamis. Apocalyptic pictures like these are becoming an ordinary part of news bulletins across the globe. And scientists aren't giving out reassuring forecasts. Unfortunately, we're expecting more severe cataclysms which may lead to large-scale human losses and destruction. I'm talking about even a possible shift of the centers of our entire civilization. The change in the Earth's seismic activity coincides with the rise of activity on the Sun. Scientists have been witnessing gigantic bursts of plasma on its surface and say they are affecting our planet, even though it's over 90 million miles away. Each burst sends billions of particles into space, which impacts the Earth's magnetic field. This may trigger some of the processes going on deep below its surface, leading to earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Scientists predict solar activity will only increase and say in the next few years large-scale disruptions of electronic equipment, radio transmissions, computer failures and massive blackouts could become parts of everyday life. The Sun is currently monitored either by stations on the Earth or in orbit. But sending a probe four times closer to the star would be far more helpful. And it may not be science fiction much longer, thanks to a project currently being developed by the Russian Academy of Sciences. This is going to be like a thermometer which would fly close to the sun, measure its temperature, density and magnetic fields. We're making it from scratch. No one's ever done this before. The Intergelio Zond, as it's called, is set to be launched by 2015. Of course, it won't be able to control the star's activities, but it could at least give a heads up to humanity before disaster strikes. Igor Piskunov, RT, Moscow.